Um, today I'm unboxing a new hot water dispenser. As you would have seen on a much earlier video, I got a tipping kettle that was fantastic because I can't successfully just lift a kettle full of hot water. And it was terrific until uh, two days ago when it started to leak rather badly. So I thought, oh dear, I have to get a new water dispenser. So I went online and I had to get something that was in a, within a reasonable price range. There are hot water dispensers you can get, of course, that are installed and you just and they go all the time and you just pull a lever and um, do that. But A, they're quite expensive and B, I'd have to jump through a lot of hoops to get it installed where I live. You can't just install, I lease this place, I don't own it. So you have to go through more than it's worth to get something like that. So, today we're unboxing a Westinghouse hot water dispenser, stainless steel. I'm not a big fan of stainless steel, only because it marks, but that's what you have these days. Close this so I don't chop my finger off. Let's see if I can get this out without, oh dear, too much difficulty. It's in another box. So, let's see what I can do. Westinghouse hot water dispenser. Apparently you can set the temperature on this anywhere from 45 to 100 degrees, which is good. Not every, I like my coffee and tea hot. I'm one of the hot water people, but some people just like it warmish, which is good. Uh, before first use of the, yeah, I'll read that because you've got to do some stuff. I'll check the water stopper, fill the tank, press and hold the lock button for around three to five seconds. Press temp, I'll read that after. Instruction manual. Uh, now we've got polystyrene. That's such fun getting things out of boxes with polystyrene. So here we go again. <laughs> oh this one feels like it's going to come out quite easy. Oh look! I'm not going to have to tug and pull and carry on. Put my hands there in case it all collapses. went. I'll put that up. There are things going. <laughs> and it's not too heavy, so that's good. I'll be able to manage this. Uh, it's got a large capacity water uh, thing. I think it holds about four litres, which is going to be good because my other one only held one and a half litres which was not great. So the biggest issue I can see me having with this, yes I can see it now, 
is my hot water bottle. Um, yes, I use a hot water bottle. I'm a cold person and with my bed, I can't use an electric blanket on it. So I've resorted to having a hot water bottle, uh, which is terrific. But I can see a difficulty filling it with this, but oh, that's the least of my worries. Oh, isn't this pretty? Look at that. Only trouble when you're unpacking all this is to get rid of all this stuff afterwards. <laughs> you spend your life cutting up boxes then to put in the recycle. What's this? Oh, this must be the base part. The drip tray, so to speak. Oh yeah, the, that comes off so you can empty the drip tray. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a couple of things that it must clip onto. Now, I don't know what I dropped. I'll s see if I can get it. Uh, oh, this might be for the, apparently the height's adjustable, so this must be if you want to have it up higher, you know, if you've got smaller, like, espresso size cups or something. So this is a higher one, so you can, so it won't all splash everywhere, which I'll probably do. So, yeah, that's how that goes. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to do something else as well as that. I oh, might help if I read the instructions after. Anyway, that's it to start with. And now we'll set it up and put some water in it and see what happens. Hello, back again. Yes, it is some time later. I got distracted and didn't get to finish the video. I might add that this isn't a sponsored video, so this is just me doing this. Um, no sponsors at all. Now, uh, I did run this through with water a few times to get the factory thing out of it. So it's all been cleaned up and set up. Now what I have done is I've set this for 300 mils, which is just about right for this mug so I don't have to watch it or anything. If I had to, I could use a, a liquid level indicator, but because I've set it for 300 mils, I don't have to worry about it because I have my tea black, so that's different. Uh, even with, if I was making a cup of coffee, which I do have milk in, I think I'd still leave it for 300 mils because it leaves enough for a little bit of milk. So that's good. And I've set it up on the highest level so that I can just slip my cup in there. I don't have to worry about uh, splashing or anything. So And getting it in the right position because I can feel, if I had to, I could feel the the cup fits either side, of, uh, right in the middle of those grids, but that isn't necessary because if I do 
just set it back in the complete groove of the back of the machine, it, it's in the right position anyway. There's no way I can make a mistake. So, this is the lock button. It comes on. Now, I haven't marked this yet because I can actually see the lights. But if a blind friend of mine was coming over, I would put some markings on this so they'd know which button they were pushing. The lock button, you have to hold down until it makes another beep. Now I've got this set for 100 degrees, which is the highest it goes, and 300 mils. And on the end, <laughs> you can see the lock button comes on quickly. You have to actually do it fairly quickly. On the end, I can feel that there's a, you can actually feel those, so it's the fourth indentation along. So I'll push this again. But I know it's the one after that last light anyway. Push that and I just wait. And the water will come out nice and hot. I don't have to run it. I read in the reviews that people were running about 50 mils out of it to get the water hot enough. But I haven't found that. The water is extremely hot. And I find that it's quite adequate just to have it as is. I don't have to run any water out of it first. It's not very noisy, it's quite good actually. So it's finished. I'll let it go for the five beeps because that gives it time for the water to stop running and it will automatically go back to lock. But if you want to whack another cup in there, you'd have to be pretty quick. So I just take that out. Now I have leaf tea, and I don't use tea bags, so I'll just dump my tea, leaf tea in there in its little container. sugars because I'm not definitely not sweet enough I can get it in without shaking it all over the bench there we go and voila one cup of tea perfectly made uh, very hot no doubt about that and that's it, that's the Westinghouse uh, hot water dispenser. I love it.